climate change is happening all over the world and being felt in different ways. One of the ways it's affecting Aruba is its coral reefs due to the rising and falling of sea levels. Recently, a group of scientists presented a comprehensive study on the island's coral health to a large group of people on the island who work closely with Aruba's nature. Dr. Patrick Boyden, one of the lead scientists in this study, said they focused their research on the modern and paleo environment, meaning fossil records were also examined. Uh, so what's really beautiful about Aruba, Curacao and Bonaire uh, is that they're surrounded by a succession of uh, what we term as geologists, marine terraces. So these marine terraces are uh, developed over thousands of years uh, as coral reefs grow and follow sea level rise. The ocean rising and falling is a natural cycle. Through this action, the reefs accumulate, but as sea levels fall, the reefs are exposed and ultimately die, but they leave behind traces, which is where the researchers can really dive in and look into the reef community closely. They can see what corals were like at the time, what traits the corals have, such as their shapes, which plays a quintessential role on how those corals responded to adverse conditions such as changing climates, for example. According to Patrick, much more is being examined, especially when it comes to how it relates to climate change. We're also looking in the, uh, the modern uh, environment uh, where we conduct a very similar study, but on modern reefs. So as the reef, uh, we, we, we map the reef profile uh, and look at the different co uh, colonies that are there. And we try to get a, an overall view, a comprehensive view of what the community dynamics are now uh, and try and think about how this, the paleo, what we would term as a baseline, so what the non-human uh, environment would look like in a changing climate, what is it looking like now in a changing climate with human impact. Furthermore, another big aspect of the research is on the extreme storms and extreme wave events. While Aruba is blessed with being south of the hurricane belt, uh, there are, of course, impacts uh, on, uh, on the coastlines. And as sea levels rise, as climate intensifies uh, those processes, there's a greater risk to Arubans living on the coastline. That's something that we also want to highlight, that we found uh, evidence of repeated events. And these repeated events uh, will yeah, lead to uh, a better understanding of what's the return period. So how often do these events possibly occur?